Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on the truck. So I'm starting to work on the fuel system and here's some of the changes that I'm gonna be doing. So here's the original fuel tank and I'm gonna end up using the original fuel tank just because I don't wanna spend the money on an another fuel tank. I would love to have one, but it's 400 bucks. I have this one here. The only changes that I made to this one since we're going to be using, you know, this 5.3 and we need to have a the fuel system. Um, so I'm going to order an external fuel pump, an external um, fuel filter. Already had these fittings. I'm going to go with the, what is it, a dash 8 and a dash 6 for the return. And then over here on the fuel tank, I went ahead and I welded for the return up on the top side um, this little bung right here uh, and this is a dash six and then on the bottom I welded a dash eight and some of my welds I don't know I think it'll hold I don't really see anything bad if anything maybe I'll go over it one more time here let me turn the gas tank around so I can show you guys alright here's the the feed side and pretty much I went ahead and tigged it all the way around I don't see any areas where it might leak and if it does leak you know then I'll take it off and redo it but I, I think it'll be fine um, I have like a little sharp edge right here, but I, it's sealed, so it'll be fine. Um, so I'll, the only thing that I need, still need to order for this tank is the sanding unit and also the um, rubber connectors for the inlet and the breather tube and just some lines. So it'll end up costing me about... 300 bucks to do the whole fuel system on this and then uh, I'll be able to put this in the other thing that I need to do now on this one is uh, I need to change this flex plate so that I could put the one for the um, 4L80E and then we can go ahead and mock it I'm gonna take the the harness off I already finished that uh, take the harness off and then uh, go ahead and put the tra transmission on and then we're going to go ahead and put it on. Um, we're going to go ahead. I have to make the I have to make the f motor mounts, but I think I don't think that'll be that hard. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to cut into the firewall and make room for it. And then there's also a cross member down there that I need to remove. And we'll see how that ends up going. But uh, so far, you guys can see the truck. It's not looking bad. Um, I'm hoping to at least ride it once this year. But here's the interior. Um, that's where the fuel tank's going to go. So right here is where... The feed is going to go and then around like right here we can see the shadow of my finger I'm going to be placing a um, I'm making a hole right here in order for my return line to come in it'll go up and back into the tank um, there's still quite a bit of stuff that I need to purchase I need a steering column um, I still have the gauges. I'm just not sure if I'll be able to use them with the 12 volt. I need to do some research on that. Um, I need some brake lines. But I'm hoping to be able to ride it this year. I mean, even if it's just around the block. But I, I need to get going on it. Alright guys, well I just wanted to give you a quick update on... You know, where things are at with the truck. Kind of things that I still need on it. And then we'll go ahead and keep purchasing stuff um thanks for watching
give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.